Hey, welcome back. We're going to be drawing our sailboat today. And if we're trying to make it three dimensional, it's not going to be easy. I don't know all the parts of a sailboat, but I can draw them. And so will you be able to. Make sure you color it beautifully. So get color pencils, paints, watercolors. Uh, I'm not sure what you have oil pastels, crayons, and any kind of paper you have laying around, just so long as it's not bills. Don't want to take your parents' bills by accident. So uh, draw with me today. Get your things. Let's get going. The first thing I want to do today is figure out which direction I want to make my paper. So uh, first you might think, well, a sailboat, that's, that's tall, so we need to do a uh, tall paper, vertical paper. We're not. We're going to leave it horizontal because I think you'll find out that this sailboat is just as wide as it is tall. We're going to start a little bit down here at the bottom of the paper just to give ourselves some room for that nice tall sail. So first things first, let's uh, start off with the bottom of the boat, okay? Coming down below the middle of the paper and off to the left hand side, we're going to make a dot right about here. And this is just a point to start with, okay? What I'd like to do with that dot is make it into a, a curved diagonal line for the side edge of the boat. I'm going to bring this way down, all right? Just slopes down like a little hill. At the front of this boat, we're going to just draw another diagonal line coming in and stop. Our boat's sitting in the water, so you're not going to see the very bottom here, okay? And then this boat has a U-shape for a bottom. It's kind of a flattened U-shape, so it kind of comes down diagonally a little bit. It comes over, and then it comes up. All right, and that's the back of the boat. That's the back of the sailboat. And this is also going to come back and connect. This is the back of our boat. We could draw a little stripe here across the top. Nice. All right, over here we can add some water. Just a little bit of a wavy line. We can add a few other little lines here to make it look like it's sitting in the middle of the water. It kind of looks like some ripples, right? All right, now we want to add our edge of our boat for the rim for like the top wood all the way down and stop. And then in order to make this boat look a little bit 3D, right about here, we're going to come up a little bit, okay? And we're going to draw our line coming up and it's short and it stops. Follow along the edge of the boat, kind of making a parallel line back. Stop. This is going to kind of be a diagonal line going this way. All right. And then, well, this boat kind of happens to be going um, away from us. So we're going to draw the back of the boat. All right. And this line here, the top edge of the back of the boat is going to follow the top edge of the back of, of um, I think it's the hull. Okay. So, and then this line is going to come down. Same diagonal as this one over here. That way it looks like you can get down inside, okay? <clears throat> we don't want to have so many details that you're not really sure what you're drawing. Connect the bottom of this. Connect the bottom of these. So from the bottom here, all the way up and connect. Great. And now to make it a little bit 3D, we're gonna connect the top of this here. First thing though we want to do is add a nice tall um, part of the boat that comes up to hold the sail. Let's go right about here. You want to come down, you want to leave yourself enough room at the top of this. So if you want a straight line, you can't draw a straight line, go ahead and use a roller. Alright, some of this is going to be overlapped here by our sail in a minute, so I'm not going to draw the sail just yet, but um, if we come up and stop, we can make the top of this boat now arch and connect. And see, we want this to go behind there so that it looks like it's 3D, okay? And let's connect the sail now. So at this point, we have a sail that's going to come down and out and 
over here. So let's make our, uh, this little support come out. It's just a rectangle. Skinny though, make it nice and skinny. And then we can make this come down and kind of curve. And this also is going to curve. Follow that line down and curve. Very nice. I think we can add some details here. All right, let's make that curve. Curve down and around. All right. And then the next side is actually, so this is empty. This is just air, okay? The sail really comes way out here. So we're gonna make this come down and it comes a little bit lower and then it's gonna come up at an angle and connect. And this is connected probably by some sort of a rope to the boat. And I imagine this uh, it is too, but I can't see it, so I'm not going to draw it. I think one of the biggest things that we struggle with is making sure that we draw something because it makes sense. And sometimes you can't see it or you can't understand it. It's worse if you just try to make it up. Okay? So we can put our pattern or on here for some detail. Follow down the line. And you can make this into a nice rainbow shape. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here, if you do this right, um, you'll see that the lines tip further and further and further as you get up toward the top. All right. I'm going to put like a uh, little gather spot up here where maybe there's some ropes tied up. All right. And then we have some other strings coming down to attach for supports. Oh, you want to make this come behind the sail as best as you can. Okay. You can add some windows in here. Make maybe make a longer window back here. Can make this a door going inside. I'm gonna put a little window on this. Might be needing some more rope. Ropes. Ropes. I see a rope coming all the way down and attaching to the back here. Whoosh. Can also put a little detail where there's like a crossbar coming through here looks like it's holding on to some strings itself we can't see all those little details it's too far away all right don't worry about it if you can't see it only draw what you can see all right we can uh, put this back here make it say Darby you can make it say your own name
if you've got it colored, get it posted. We want to check them out. We want to see what kind of artwork you're making. In the meantime, be safe and be smart and keep practicing.